Chemistry DK02 for Topic 1 Introduction to Organic Chemistry Subtopic 1.2 Structural Formula Formula Structure Structural Formula Structural formula is a chemical formula which shows the arrangement of atoms in the molecule. Formula struktur merupakan satu formula kimia yang menunjukkan susunan atom-atom dalam suatu molecule. As for example, this is the structural formula for molecule of capsaicin in the chili. As we can see, the atoms of carbon, oxygen, nitrogen and hydrogen has specific arrangement. Learning outcomes 1.2 structural formula A. Define structural formula B. Draw possible structural formula based on molecular formula in the form of expanded, condensed and skeletal. C. Classify carbons into primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary carbon. D. Classify hydrogens into primary, secondary and tertiary hydrogen. Question 1A. Define the term molecular formula. Berikan definisi bagi formula molecule. Molecular formula is a chemical formula indicating the numbers and types of atoms in a molecule. Formula molecule adalah satu formula kimia yang menunjukkan bilangan dan juga jenis atom-atom yang wujud dalam suatu molecule. As for example, this molecule consists of 24 carbon, 2 oxygen and 60 hydrogen. Question 1B. What is structural formula? Apakah itu formula struktur? Structural formula is a chemical formula which shows how the atoms in a molecule are bonded to each other. Formula struktur adalah satu formula kimia yang menunjukkan bagaimana atom-atom di dalam suatu molekul diikat antara satu sama lain. As for example, the structural formula for this molecule shows the bond between the carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms. 1C. Name all three types of structural formula. The three types of structural formula are expanded structure, Condensed structure and skeletal structure. Expanded structure. In expanded structure, we need to show all atoms and all bonds present in that molecule. Condensed structure. In condensed structure, we need to hide the single bond exists between the carbon and hydrogen atoms. However, we can show the functional group present in that molecule. Skeletal structure. In skeletal structure, we need to hide the atoms of carbon and atoms of hydrogen. But we need to show the bonds exist between the carbon atoms such as single bond or double bond. Expanded structure ataupun struktur yang mengembang. Kenapa struktur ini mengembang? Kerana kita perlu tunjukkan semua atom yang wujud di dalam molekul tersebut termasuklah jenis-jenis ikatan yang wujud dalam molekul tersebut. Condensed structure ataupun struktur yang dirapatkan. Kenapa struktur ini menjadi uh, rapat? Kerana kita sembunyikan ikatan tunggal yang wujud antara karbon dan juga hidrogen. Walau bagaimanapun, functional group seperti carbon-carbon uh, double bond uh, dan lain-lain lagi boleh ditunjukkan dalam struktur ini. Untuk skeletal structure ataupun struktur kerangka, kita sembunyikan uh, atom carbon dan atom hidrogen di dalam struktur tersebut. Oleh itu, yang ditunjukkan hanyalah ikatan antara carbon-carbon atom tersebut seperti ikatan uh, tunggal ikatan ganda 2 ataupun ikatan ganda 3 ataupun single bond, double bond, triple bond. Question 2. There are two organic compounds having the same molecular formula C4H8. A. Identify the functional group present in the compounds. Terdapat dua sebatian organik yang mempunyai formula molekul yang sama iaitu C4H8. A. Kena pasti kumpulan berfungsi yang wujud dalam sebatian tersebut. The compounds are alkene and cycloalkene. The functional group are inalkene, carbon-carbon double bond, in cycloalkene, no functional group. 
Question 2B. Draw the structural formula for both organic compounds in form of expanded, condensed and skeleton. Expanded structure, we need to show all the four carbon atoms and the bond between them. And then, remember, each carbon atom can form maximum four number of covalent bond. Now, since there are only eight hydrogen atoms, there will be one double bond present in that molecule. Next, complete the number of hydrogen atoms. This is the compound of alkene with functional group carbon-carbon double bond. The second compound is cyclic compound. Sebatian bergelang. The shape is square. Since there are one, two, three, four carbon atoms, don't forget to show the single bond between each of the carbon atoms and then each of the carbon atoms will be bonded to two hydrogen atoms. So, this is the cyclic compound or known as cycloalkene. Condensed structure. In condensed structure, we need to hide the single bond between carbon and hydrogen. For the first carbon, bonded to three hydrogen, so we will write CH3. Second carbon, bonded to one hydrogen only. And then it has carbon-carbon double bond functional group. And then the third carbon has one hydrogen atom. And the fourth carbon has three hydrogen atoms. For the cyclic compound, uh, the cycle between the four carbon atoms, we need to show the single bond between them because we have no choice. This is a cyclic compound. Okay, however, the bond between carbon and hydrogen can be hidden such as CH2, 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 CH2. Skeletal structure. In the compound of alkene, between the first and second carbon is single bond. Between the second and third carbon is double bond. Between the third and fourth carbon is single bond. Next, we cannot show the atoms of carbon and hydrogen. This is the skeletal structure for this alkene. Next, for the cycloalkene, between the first and second carbon is single bond and also single bond with the other carbon. Next, we cannot show the atoms of carbon and hydrogen. We need to hide them. This is the skeletal structure of cycloalkene. These are the expanded structure, condensed structure and skeletal structure for both organic compounds with the formula C4H8. Class of carbon. Primary carbon is carbon atom that is bonded to one carbon atom. Secondary carbon is carbon atom that is bonded to two carbon atoms. Tertiary carbon is carbon atom that is bonded to three carbon atoms. Quaternary carbon is carbon atom that is bonded to four carbon atoms. Generally, the class of carbon will be applied for the carbon atom with sp3 hybridized orbital or carbon atom with four single covalent bond. Question 3. Identify classes of carbons in the following compounds. Question 1. We are given skeletal structure, so the number of carbon 1, 2, 3, 4. The class of carbon for each of Carbon, the first one is primary because bonded to only one carbon atom. The next carbon is tertiary because it is surrounded by one, two, three carbon atoms. The next carbon is primary and the last carbon also primary. Okay, next. Okay, question two. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbon. So the class of carbon is, for the first carbon, is primary. This one primary, primary, primary. So the carbon next to the first carbon is surrounded by one, two, three carbon atoms. So it is tertiary. The next carbon beside the tertiary carbon not involved in the classes of carbon because generally, uh, the classes of carbon only apply for the sp3 hybridized carbon atom or carbon atom with four single covalent bond. Okay, next carbon 
surrounded by three carbon atoms, so it is tertiary. The next carbon surrounded by one, two carbon, so it is secondary carbon. Okay, question three. There are one, two, three, four carbon atoms, so the class of carbon is uh, this carbon surrounded by one two carbon so it is secondary this one also secondary okay the other two carbon atoms with carbon carbon double bond are not involved in the classes of carbon question four we have one two three four carbon the class of the first carbon is primary the second one is secondary next secondary and the third the last one is not involved okay question five there are total five carbon so the class for each of the carbon is primary and the carbon at the center that is surrounded by one two three four carbons known as quaternary carbon next question number six there are one two three four five six carbon atoms so the class of each carbon is we start with the substituent group primary and next to the primary carbon is carbon that is bonded to one two three carbon atoms so it is tertiary so next to it is carbon that is bonded to two carbon atoms so it is secondary 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 and secondary carbon so these are the classes of carbon for the given organic compounds. Class of hydrogen. There are three class of hydrogen, primary, secondary and tertiary. Primary hydrogen is the hydrogen that is bonded directly to the primary carbon. Secondary hydrogen is the carbon that is bonded directly to the secondary carbon. Tertiary hydrogen is the hydrogen that is bonded directly to the tertiary carbon. Question 4. Identify classes of hydrogen in the following compound. We start with primary hydrogen. Primary hydrogen is the hydrogen that is bonded directly to the primary carbon. Next is secondary hydrogen. Secondary hydrogen is hydrogen that is bonded directly to the secondary carbon. The last one is tertiary hydrogen. Tertiary hydrogen is hydrogen that is bonded directly to the tertiary carbon. So, the class of hydrogens present in these compounds are primary, secondary and tertiary hydrogen. End of slide. Thank you.